Yeah. Okay, sounds good. We'll do. Okay, bye bye. Sounds good. Uh huh. Bye. He wants to see her. Good. So you're gonna take her in? <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing because I ha I don't. You don't even have to go in. They're gonna do it in the car because she has a fever. They are not letting patients go. What are they going to do in the car? So they'll just do all the normal stuff. They'll check her vitals and everything. And then the doctor will come out to the car and just check her over, listen to her lungs and everything. But her lungs sound fine. He's just going to check her out. I get him tracking with her to make sure she's okay. No, I want her to be seen. To say the point. He, he's the doctor. He's her doctor track with her make sure she's okay so tomorrow if something happens he has got his he knows right, what's going on so he can just make take action so the reason we're going in is um well they called us to see how she was doing this morning which is really cool i love that they did that that's awesome um because but la but what they didn't know was last night she threw up <clears throat> every time she ate and she had a higher fever through the night i was up through the night with her all night it was pretty stressful. So what bothers me about taking her in is that we're going to bundle her up. She's like sleeping happily right now. We're going to bundle her up, take her in. They're going to look at her and say she looks okay. I know. That's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to look at her and say she looks okay. She looks fine. We think she's fine. If anything changes, let us know. I just need to go take her so he can track with her because he is a good doctor. I bet you by the end of today, she's either going to be better mm -hmm. or worse. Yep. And if she's worse, she needs to be seriously seen. If she's better, then it was just a virus. And okay. So if he wants to draw labs today, he says she's had this fever multiple days. I'm going to treat her like a two-month-old instead of like a five-month-old. Five-month-old, and he wants her to go straight to the hospital and have labs drawn. Um, that's the only reason why I think you might want to go is to so you can oh. nurse her through it and stuff. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be an easy visit. No, I know. It's going to be but... quick. He's just going to check on her. Well. I was going to do Christmas decorating with the kids this morning. But if you go now, you'll probably be back in. No, that's not what I was going to say. I don't mind missing that. Yeah. I'm saying you can do it with the kids this okay. morning instead of me. We got to take your we got to take your weight, baby. We're going to weigh you. I'm sorry. Okay. And you can lay her down there. Hold on, you gotta keep your arms in. Wiggly curl. One more, baby. They're all different. Ten, five, seven. Hi. She's definitely in a better mood than yesterday. I know. Do you feel better? All right, say bye bye to your sister. You don't look real sick this morning, Trudy. That's a good thing. Are we gonna go? And you're gonna act like that, and they're gonna say she's fine, and we're gonna say we hope so. And then you're either gonna come home and be better, or you're gonna come home and start throwing up again. Goodbye. Good luck. Bye, true, true. Bye. Bye, true, true. Bye, 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 bye. What are these for, Mr. Bryson? Decorating the tree. Decorating for Christmas? Dried orange slices. Okay, great. I don't actually see myself getting to Christmas crafts this morning with the kids. I think that was a nice idea. But it's just, uh, things are just a little chaotic with Brie like rushing out, us cooking breakfast. Uh, kids doing online school stuff. Watching this, taking care of this beautiful boy. Anyway, Christmas crafts aren't happening right now. I'm just waiting to hear from Bree. Uh, she's been gone with Truly for a couple hours now. Hopefully, they've squeezed in Truly and 
we'll hear back soon. So. It's kind of funny. This is what we said was going to happen. I know, but I'm just happy she feels better, to be honest. I was worried about her. Especially so, last night after all that vomiting. So she looked awesome. He looked at her and said, she looks awesome? Yeah, and you know what I really like about him? What? She explains everything. I like him a lot. He's a great, like he's a great communicator. He cares about yes. his patients. He's extremely experienced. And he's really gentle. He's very gentle. He would walk in every patient encounter, almost every one, and he'd sit down. Oh. And he'd talk to the patient. There's quite a few of these thank you gifts left, but you have to enter by the end of today, midnight, EST, December 18th, 2021. Okay, so you're home? Yeah, look at this perfect princess. She's wide awake. <gasps> wide awake. Her normal self. Her normal self. Are you serious? No fever? <laughs> no more fever. She had one this morning. She did. <laughs> but not at the doctor's office. Nope. But that's fine, because the last... That's good. We went there for no reason. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We went there for no reason, but it's okay. I had still had some questions for him, so it was good. We were still super worried about her last night because she was throwing up all her stuff at, mid, at one in the morning last night. One in the morning, well, two in the morning, three in the morning, four in the morning. So I think that pretty much says this is something viral. And that she's probably over it. Just a really fast little viral bug. Didn't feel fast. But I'm glad it was just something viral. We can deal with a virus. We know how to do that. Lots of nursing. Lots of nursing. <sighs> but I did ask him about, you know, just her being preemie. And then I asked him about um, how she keeps having these vomiting spells. Like even when she was in the um, NICU. And he said that so far each one is explainable. Mm -hmm. but that will keep watching it if she yeah. keeps because um, a couple weeks ago she had like three days where she vomited everything she ate but no fever you're just very sensitive tummy I think very sensitive tummy I'm just relieved I, I viruses I can deal with a virus I know I know what to do for that <laughs> he was great oh. he was he's I don't see eye to eye with him on everything but his um, bedside manner mm -hmm. is incredible. He's very nice. And not only that, but he really respects that like these are preemies and like doesn't make them come into the office, you know, and um, like his, her whole appointment was in the car. Mm -hmm. And he just, he can tell that he just loves his job. Yeah. And that he like cares for her and, and Royal when he's seen Royal and. Yeah. He literally explained every single thing to me extremely well without making me feel like I'm dumb, which is amazing. And then two, um, he really listened to me and my concerns. Two good things with it to have in a doctor. Yeah. It actually made me kind of cry because I'm not used to that in doctors. Yeah. I probably should have saved this honk and roast for Christmas. I wasn't realizing that Christmas is next week. <laughs> it's a week away. So, I don't know if you guys know how to cook the perfect roast, but I do. And I'm gonna tell you how to right now. You pick out your roast. You make like a paste with butter. I use two sticks of butter, a whole lot of garlic, a whole lot of herbs to province and salt to taste. You mix it up real good, make this paste, and then you coat your whole roast with it. You don't have to brown your roast first or anything. Now here's the crazy part. You preheat your oven to 500 degrees. You're gonna cover it, stick it in the oven for five minutes per pound at 500 degrees, 
And then you're gonna turn off your oven and leave it in there for two hours. You leave it in your oven for two hours. You do not open your oven. You do not open your lid. And then when it comes out, it's a perfect medium rare every time. Now this is a much thicker roast than I usually use. So we'll see if it works with a six and a half pound roast, but I think it will. I've never done a six and a half pound roast like this. I think it'll work fine because you're basing how long it stays in the oven by the weight. I think it'll be fine. You will thank me later if this is how you make your roasts from now on. Your family will love you. My kids all saw what I was making and started all getting excited. The other really great thing about making the roast this way is that you're gonna ha probably have leftovers. You're gonna have some incredible tasting drippings. So you're definitely gonna wanna make bread with this meal to dip in the drippings. And then with the leftover bones, if it's a bone-in roast, or the leftover meat and the leftover drippings, you're going to make an incredible soup the next day. So this meal, it feeds you more than once. It's great. This is the latest I've done the chores in probably a year. The cows are really hungry. I hate to be this late, but I, had, I can't leave Royal at the house. And it's kind of a challenge getting him down here and watching him. So the cows are going to just jump on this hay. Sorry cows. It won't happen again, so babies first. Sorry to keep you waiting so long. drippings that are so amazing. You just put that meat in there. Perfect. What a nice meal, Mama. Thank you so much. Got you candy. Oh, call me Manuel and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. And death's dark shadow put to night. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O 